Okay, here's another disposal for you. Take a look at it. This is nice stainless steel here. Everything's intact. Look at it. Looks like brand new almost. Look down here. It's got your rust. This Kenmore heavy duty five year warranty. This this part up here normally doesn't give it any problem. So I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't splurge for any stainless steel action up here. What you're most concerned about is the overall warranty. This is five years, it's probably five years, and this is what happens basically. And uh, on my other video, I show how I fix these. Basically, you want to clean them up real good. You could use, uh, you, gotta, you, you could use Bondo, or you could use what I use. I normally use is E6000, or you could probably use acrylic glue. Basically, the top has to be separated, as in my other video. And then you can uh, clean these up. What I usually do is I take the osphor, the phosphoric acid, and neutralize any rust. It normally doesn't go back in here too far. Normally, it will leak out the bottom. You'll see a mineral, white mineral trail. Uh, it is possible that it would uh, trip the breaker as well. But uh, yeah, the water comes in here and it will leak out the bottom through the motor. Um, and so, yeah. Basically, yeah. This part here really doesn't matter. It's this part down here that matters. I'm not sure if they sell these individual parts here. I kind of doubt it. But I just clean them up and then put sealer on them. And then give them another uh, couple three years at least okay so this one actually had some pretty good gaps in it and what I had to do is I had to use a hot glue gun to build up the edges and pretty much got it all glued up you might be able to get by with just using the hot glue but I'm gonna go over it with the uh, goop this is uh, Normally I would probably use E6000, but this is the automotive goop. Uh, it works pretty good. And we'll give it a try. Okay. So I have it all gooped up now. I put the goop on. And it's pretty well sealed up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the, the main shaft. So basically... We're gonna go here and take our little oil gun and oil the shaft here. You can see there's a little bit of rust down there. I wanna kinda of coat any of that rust. It looks bad. Get some down in the shaft. Wiggle that shaft around, maybe turn it on, spin it around a few times, work it in there. And uh, ideally we wanna take some Ospo and scrub this a little bit, any of this rusted areas. Uh, now this base part here, I've already scrubbed, I scrubbed it, I pre-scrubbed it before I put the uh, glue down on it with Ospo. And so that will help to neutralize any rust and make it last a bit longer. Sometimes these motors will, will stiffen up, they'll get uh, water in the bearings and then you've got problems but you may be able to break it loose. Also we can take a look this little area down here just run it down on that edge there and it may be able to seep back in there on that bearing uh, but yeah run it on that edge right there and then let it seep in there so and this thing here basically looks pretty good inside um, what, I'm, what I did is I cleaned up this edge a little bit here. I'm going to clean up any of this stuff that's sticking out too far. Then I'm going to take the, uh, the silicone uh, silicone gasket sealer and I'll put some silicone on this edge. I need to clean this edge up a little bit more too. I'll put some sil uh, clean this up, put some silicone on this edge, put a little on this edge, and then it's going back together. Okay, here's another style uh, disposal. This is what a Whirl Away Pro. It's got this big cover on it. It has this little motor. And so, on this one, they got smart. And what basically what they've done is they've created a cer ceramic basin. It's 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 similar to ceramic, I would imagine. Uh, it's almost like a cross between plastic and metal. Oh, uh, I think it's aluminum. Yeah, it's aluminum. 
Yeah, it's aluminum. And so the aluminum would tend not to rust, which is, is pretty good. So rust, it's not going to rust the bottom out. But if you look in here, you can see that whatever chopper plate is pretty well rusted. Now what's happened is, now they, this would probably be a really good machine if they've used a, a stainless steel chopper blade, uh, chopper disc. But what's happened on this one is the little stainless steel uh, arms that are dogs or whatever you want to call them have rusted in place so they're not chopping the food up uh, the way they should um, so what we're going to do what i've done and here's what i normally use to treat the rust and basically what i did is i took a screwdriver and i put uh the ospo this is the they call it yeah ospo um and skyco 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 ospo Anyway, I dipped this rag in here and I put it inside there and I ran it around there and I put a couple of drops of oil in it and I'm going to try and loosen up those little dogs and then treat that real good one way or another and then uh, spray paint it. And so yeah, this one has got the reset button here. If your disposal is not working then you can try and press the reset button and other one make sure that chopper blade is going to spin around when you try and spin it okay another tip for you if you have a dishwasher this port of course is going to be used for your drain port on your dishwasher you happen to get a new disposal this port you have to knock out the plug in it so basically they make these for people who don't have dishwashers and there's a plastic plug inside there that you have to knock out otherwise if you don't knock that plug out and you hook up your new disposal <laughs> you your water won't be able to pump out so if you do put a new disposal in, make sure you check this to make sure that you don't have a plug in it. Take your screwdriver and stick it all the way through it and make sure you can see it on the other side. So if you need your uh, disposal rebuilt, you can contact me 707-443-8347. I also give phone advice for $25. It's 707-443-8347. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for recycling and reusing.